Anyway, uh, we checked barley, and it happened to be Harrington at that time, under dry land conditions for sulfate type salts. And it gave a salt tolerance index about 8.3. Uh, canola, we took the, what we uh, suspected were the better, or uh, actually we knew they were the more salt tolerant canola varieties. Again, under a dry land uh, environment uh, with a sulfate base, uh, salinity, and that turned out to be about 8.0 or very similar. Uh, statistically, probably no difference between the two. Uh, we tried canola, dry land, with a chloride chloride base, and chlorides are more hard on, on plants than, uh, than sulfates, and sure enough, the salt tolerance index reflected this. So we're confident about this index, which we're trying to apply to uh, all of the crops that we are, have under test. Now, we're not satisfied with that. We, we have a technique where... Uh, We have a technique where, whereby we, if we do a field verification of these results and, um, and, 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 and invariably we find that the salt tolerance testing lab uh, pretty well indicates what's going to happen in the field. Uh, we try to do those tests in the lab that are... That